Do you want to know something cool? I'll bet you want to know something cool. Let me share something really cool I just learned. So I've been a gaming for a grand old while, and the whole time I've been uh, absorbed and enamored and in love with video game music, and nowhere more so again than the Legend of Zelda series. And back in 1998, when I was playing Ocarina of Time and I got in a boss battle, da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na, you know, trumpet music kicks in. Whoa, yeah, heroic, right? Bold, big sound. It wasn't quite trumpet music though, but I mean, look, when there's a giant two-sorted pig demon bearing down on you with his glowing eyes on a platform above lava, a certain death, a ring of fire around you and your sword flies out of the ring of fire. Oh, what am I going to do now? Uh, you, you just don't really care much that it doesn't sound quite exactly like a real trumpet. Um, and then over the years, I started to play games that had orchestral soundtracks. New audio files were being used to record better sounds that could be on my discs. Sounds that apparently were too big, too bold, too awesome to be compressed onto my inferior cartridge. Now, in the interest of saving space, those old sounds, those old music, that Zelda boss music, that was MIDI. It was called MIDI. And when I heard the distinction between MIDI and new, like, orchestrated game sounds, I just thought MIDI was, uh, I thought it was an inferior file format. But I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what MIDI is, and what MIDI is not. MIDI is not, in fact, an audio playback file. There is apparently not actually audio recorded in MIDI, so much as... MIDI records when a note is played and for how long it is played. And then, when your computer or any uh, uh, device capable of uh, uh, being a synthesizer, essentially, capable of relaying sound back to you, it reads it and dictates it back to you with its own voice. And that means that MIDI sounds can be different from system to system, um, and that they're going to be pretty inexact. However, since they're just a list of rules and not the actual audio files themselves, they're super small. Really, really great for fitting onto a cartridge. Hey, am I right? Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, that's kind of neato, but you know, there's one more thing I want to teach you. But I'm not going to give it to you for free. No. This time, I'm going to quiz you. Uh-huh. Yeah, and if you screw up, you got to come back to this video and then go to the other video in shame because you guessed wrong. Well, anyway. So... If I speed up a wave file, speed it up in Logic, say, one of my favorite sound editing programs, it's going to get kind of high and chipmunky, right? If I speed up a MIDI, based on what we know about MIDIs now, what's it going to do? What is a sped up mini MIDI? What's a sped up MIDI going to sound like, eh? Take your pick. I'll wait. I'll wait. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm.